All right, everybody. Morning. It's Rob. Uh, Try to get out early this morning. It's been hot as hell. I know I've been saying the last couple of videos it's been raining like a son of a bitch, and it has been. But uh, now that the rain has stopped, the humidity is kicking in, and uh, it's whew, it's been a hot one out here. So I'm going to do this early. A gentleman by the name of Tom kind of sent me a note asking about uh, oil filter, or I'm sorry, air filter on the 192 SX. Now I don't. Uh, I'm not even going to lie to you, I don't know how it's placed. I saw a few pictures online. Um, you know, I got the, the AR240. But the 240 does have an air filter that is a pain in the ass to get to. So I can only imagine uh, that the 192 is the same way. So what I'll do for Tom and whoever else is cu uh, curious about the air filter and getting to it and, and you know some of the stuff you may have to disconnect and, and get out of the way, I can try to do this real quick. Um, it's not going to be exact, but it give you a good uh, kind of a guideline to go off of. Um, my guess is it's all relatively the same. So here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> As you can see, this is, uh, well, there's the other one. That's pretty simple to get to. That's a no-brainer there. But this one, that's what uh, my dad would call uh, a German virgin. Uh, that's in there, guten tight. So... Um, as you can tell, it looks cramped, but uh, in all honesty, it's relatively easy. So this breather tube, just pull that off and you know get out of your way. Uh, I'll try to do this the best I can, holding this stuff by myself. You can see those uh, stainless steel clamps down there. You know, you just kind of unscrew them. Oops, didn't get that in the video. Sorry. Just kind of loosen that stuff up and you'll, you'll have to loosen them up quite a bit um, and you'll see here in a couple minutes now those of you that are watching this I, I actually would like some input on air filters and their actual use because I'll be honest with you I don't use them I took mine out um, get a little bit more power on the whole shot um, you know, haven't really noticed much of a difference. A um, little bit speed, but not a whole heck of a lot. Uh, I just don't see getting a whole lot of dust out there in the ocean to filter stuff out. So, I mean, I solicit your all's input. Tell me what you think. So, okay. So, this thing is now pretty much loose. Now, you can... Take that thing all the way off if you want, but that opens up a whole nother pain in the ass. So, as you can see, all this is now is just a rubber coupling. Strength of my camera there. And you just kind of pull it out of your way, whichever way you need. You know, you can take the housing off all the way around. I don't think uh, the Yamaha engineers were contortionists. I think it's pretty shitty that they put some of this stuff in here like this. All right, I'm going to try to put the camera down. I'll try to see if I can. It's not the greatest. Sorry, but I need two hands. Actually, let me try another angle. Pretty ghetto when it comes to cameras, y'all, so I'm sorry. Yeah, that might work. I'll try that. So, you just kind of got to play with it once it's loose. Um, I just put some ghetto electrical tape around there just to kind of prevent moisture, so, you know. But this is how you do it, and it really is a pain in the ass. Kind of pull it off of there, just like that. And, you know, be careful with it. Obviously, you don't want to jack anything up. Your pins are always going to get in the way. There's no easy way around it.
And there you go. Okay. And there it is. Now your air filter normally sits in there. And like I said, I got some electrical tape, ghetto fight it, just keep some moisture out. Didn't really do much, but and there it is. <clears throat> air filter sits in there. It's actually screwed in uh, to the cover that you took out. So you got two screws there. One on the bottom. That's it. And then that's that's the same way over here. This one's a little bit easier. Obviously, you take that one off on the 240s. That one comes off a little bit easier. But this one is like this is like a guy giving birth. This is a pain in the ass. So, um, so Tom, that's how you get to it in uh, the 240. Um, like I said, I don't know how it's set up. Uh, and yours, but I'm thinking it's probably, whoops, god damn it, probably relatively close. <clears throat> now, Tom also had a question about fogging. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you how I do it, and I'll use the other engine, the one that doesn't have a, um, a filter still in it. So... <clears throat> Again, stable, any kind of fogging oil. This is what I guess cheapest at Walmart, I believe. Three bucks can, something like that. Now, this is how I do it. Mine's a 12, and I think some of the newer versions have an actual port that allows you to do this. That vent hose. This is where I pulled mine out. And remember, I showed you in the beginning of this video, this one that I pulled out was, you know, somewhere right in here. That is where I shoot the fogging oil. So I just kind of unplug that. Let me fire this thing up. Oh, shit, my battery's disconnected. Give me two seconds, dude. Okay, here we go. I got the battery connected. Now, with it idling, Kind of give it a few sprays in there. You'll heal the bog out. And that's it. That's it, man. That's the concept. That's the concept right there. It's, that's how I do it. Real easy. Just do that for like, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 times. If you're out on salt water, you maybe do a couple more times than that. But, um, you know, you could have the accelerator up a little bit while you're doing it so it doesn't bug out so easy. It forces it further up into the intake. That's why you do it so many times to make sure it gets all the way up into the fuel injectors and cleans everything out. Um, but it's real easy. Um, like I said, you, you do it the same on the other side, uh, like on this one, except just spray it down this hole. Either way. But I think if you got a 13 or newer, I think is when they put an actual uh, nozzle in there where you can hook the uh, little red straw and shit that comes with these cans, hook the straw up to it, and just spray it right into that shit. So uh, they made it real easy for, for fogging. I recommend you do this every single time you take it out. Every time, fresh or um, salt, doesn't matter. Uh, it's just good preventative maintenance. Um, so, Tom, asked me about the air filter. I hope that helped you. Uh, kind of give you uh, an idea. Uh, I put a note on your page. Send me some pictures. If I'm way off, then you know I'll. I don't know what else I can do for you, but I'll try. Uh, um, so. Send me a few pictures of your engine compartment, you know, up close where your stuff is all connected. Um, you know, and then I'll, maybe I'll try to do a follow-up if I can. All right, well, y'all have a good day.